Well, he was adopted but turned in by his owners once he grew up. Now he's looking for someone to love him forever. Mary Jane Benning joins us now to introduce us to this week's Thursday's pet, Bandit. Well, you know, I'm in heaven because I love big, big dogs. boys. <laughs> this is a beautiful big dog. Yes, he's only a year old. And you know, when you come down to the shelter and you adopt a puppy that's 11 weeks old, they're going to grow and has feet this big. <laughs> They're gonna it's grow not going to be a 20-pound dog. No. And, and so, you know, kind of here's my thing. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything. There is nothing wrong with this boy. He is beautiful. Yes. Of course, he's a, he's, you know, he's a handful. He's a young dog. Looks like to me like a Doberman mix. Mm -hmm. Highly intelligent yes. animals. He is very gentle. He is very kind. He's got a lot of energy. Yeah. He needs a compassionate person who will go with him, will do some obedience training, who will take him and work with him and love him and turn him into the long-term pet he deserves to be. He is an absolutely gorgeous dog. Yes. And as a, again, Dobermans, Shepherds, he could have these ears, maybe there's a little Shepherd in here, I don't know. But he got the sweet parts of both breeds, Yes. but he's got the brains in here too. Those are smart, smart dogs it is never too late no. and he's already neutered and he's already vaccinated so he is ready to go to his new forever home and be a great part of your family yes handsome baby yes he just is. a big baby he's just a not big your baby. fault is it darling no and he would be a no. great exercise partner too oh my gosh i think he might cause some exercise <laughs> i think so you're going to exercise whether you want to or not because he may walk you huh. a little bit <laughs> yes <laughs> well tell us Sweet about boy. last week's thursday's pet ashes oh ashes and his sisters are still waiting for their forever homes but i do have good news Two weeks ago, remember we had red, red and, and blue. blue, those beautiful yes. dogs. Blue has gone to their for, her forever home, and red is still waiting. Okay. So it's okay. They, they, you know, we were worried about them being separated. They are fine. So Good. blue has a home. Red still needs one. And they, again, those beautiful Sharpay mixes with the curly tails. Right. Great looking dogs. Good. Yes. And we do have a lost pet we need to get home. We do have a lost pet. Bob is lost. Aww. I love that name, Bob, for a bobtail cat. A bobtail okay. orange male cat has been missing since October the 10th from Gladys and 11th Street. So if you have any information on Bob, call the shelter. Okay, easy enough. And several events. Oh my gosh. Yes, this Saturday the, the 19th, we will be at Touch a Truck, mm -hmm. which is out the BISD Agricultural Center off of Keith Road. They'll be there from 9 to 1. And then we will be at PetSmart this Saturday and next Saturday from 11 to 4. So lots of opportunities to see our animals. And of course, come on Sunday afternoons. It's a great time. 1 to 4, we're out there at the shelter. Great time to adopt. Great time to come play with the animals. And um, Mr. Bandit here, I don't know if you'll remember a few weeks ago with that beautiful boxer mix that was white with the tan markings, yes. Nick. This is his playmate. Okay. So you could come and watch him play or okay. bring your pets out and see if they get along and uh, and bring him home. But he's, he's just, he's a remarkable animal and he deserves a second chance. Yes, it's not does. his fault he grew into his feet. No, it's about time he grew into his feet. <laughs> Mary Our boys Jane. did. Yes, yes, exactly. Mary Jane, thanks. We appreciate it. Bandit, hopefully we'll have good news for you next week. Thank yes. you, Miss Kelly. And we'll be right back with more Live at 5 right after this.